Hi everyone, welcome welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. I'm super excited for today's video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Sony ZV-1 vlog camera. Um, as you guys know, I've had a channel for two years now. I decided it's finally time to get myself a vlog camera. I vlog currently on my phone when I had the iPhone 10 when I started my channel. That's what I used to record on. I had the iPhone 11 Pro Max for a little while. That's what I record on. Now I have the iPhone 12. Pro Max. I record on that, but I decided it was finally time to upgrade. So I got me a camera. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I'll be talking all about the specs. I also I also got a couple accessories to go with it. Everything will be linked down below, so make sure you check out the description box. And I'm so excited to show you guys and see what it's hitting for. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and comment down below your thoughts on this camera. But now let's get into the video all right so here's the camera i'm going to unbox it but i want to show you guys the accessories that i got with it instead of getting the vlogger kit that was offered as an add-on it was about 130 140 dollars um i decided to buy everything separately got everything from amazon the cameras from amazon and the accessories i got are from amazon the only thing that's not here yet is my camera case i got a pink one you guys know that's my favorite color but i will still link it down below so here i got a new tripod it is bluetooth right here you guys can see it will connect to my phone i'll be able to just click it and take pictures and it also comes with a little ring light i'm so excited the tripod that i have i've had since day one the bluetooth camera gave out and it does not have a light so i have to clip on this little ring light to add lighting to my pictures if I don't have good natural daylight. Obviously, you guys can see it doesn't do much. If you guys take your own pictures, I also recommend getting a tripod for that. I still use the tripod that I have now, although the Bluetooth doesn't work and I just set the timer, but it can be annoying to be running back and forth. I just bought a memory card. Um, I already have a memory card. Actually, I have two because I do have a GoPro, um, but I just got this one. It's 128. It's 128 gigabytes. Um, the one that I currently have is 64. I think I have two actually. So I just got this one. Um, it was a really good price. So I was just like, why not? And I also have this cable here. It is an adapter to connect the memory card and SD card into my iPhone. Since I do edit on my iPhone, I plan to still edit on my phone until maybe I get a new computer but I think editing on my phone is so easy doing it on my computer I don't think I'll ever get into that so yeah those are all of the accessories so now let's get into this camera the Sony ZV-1 I'm reading off my iPad um I went back I did so much research um I was back and forth between the Canon G7X I believe and the Sony camera I know a lot of people use Canon um because they're both beginner vlogging cameras but ultimately i decided to go with sony because i read i watched so many good reviews on it also because it was white and i i just thought that that was really cute and sleek and unique i really like the design so maybe it was the color maybe it was the quality camera quality i don't know but yeah that was one of the driving factors it is a point and shoot camera and it was released may 2020 also I bought it this week um I think I bought it on Wednesday and it came on Thursday then when I went to go look up the camera because I've been researching this camera for months I am fully aware that Sony just came out with a brand new vlogging camera it's like the E something but I haven't actually seen that many good reviews about it yet so oh no we'll see so i'm opening the box now it comes with the warranty papers um up to a year um on through amazon i was also able to purchase um a three-year warranty for 73 dollars i believe so the camera came straight from sony but it was through amazon so i didn't get it from like a second um party or anything well i guess amazon was a second party um they have this a prepaid credit card and then here they have the instructions um these are the recommended accessories as i mentioned this is the standard guide this is i mean this is the startup guide for the camera and 
I guess this isn't in Spanish. Okay, so now all the paperwork that I just pulled out was right there. Now here you can see the camera. It's wrapped up. Here it is. It's in this nice little wrapping paper. Oh, it feels so nice. Okay, here it is. It has a silver lens. Uh, this camera is super light. I know it's about 10.4 ounces. All of the buttons are at the top. We'll go through them one by one, of course. And then the screen flips out like this. You can see what you're doing. So let me put this down. Here is a backup bag to just put the camera in to protect it, which I will be keeping the camera in until I do get my case. This is super helpful. Here's the cord to charge the battery. Here's the battery pack that it came with. I honestly saw that someone else wanted, that someone else recommended using a different camera, I mean, different battery in one of their videos, but I'm gonna stick with this. Um, I don't really like to mix um, products like that. Like I'm not gonna use an off-brand battery for my camera, especially, I don't know if it could hurt it. I don't know if that would mess with the warranty. So I'm just gonna stick with what they provide and probably replace this by some extras. And then they have this here. This is the windscreen. It's white, it's fluffy. It's literally so cute. So I believe they call this a dead kitten. It's This is supposed to block out any wind sound in the background, which is perfect for a vlogging camera. I'm gonna attack, which is perfect for a vlog camera. Also, I have a super loud air conditioning, which really has honestly stopped me from making videos this summer because it was, it was, so hot this summer so and the background noise was so distracting now i have a camera and i have a windscreen and i'm forever grateful recording outside vlogging is going to be so much easier so yeah here are the instructions the shooting battery pack memory card all of that is included and now i'll give you guys a close-up look of the camera all right so here it is this is the on and off button this is the thing about recording with iphones so this camera is actually supposed to stabilize itself with my iphone sometimes i have to press the screen in order for it to do what it's supposed to do here is the recording button here is the shooting button for taking a picture so the camera comes out like this which is perfect and it turns around so if i'm recording this way I can see what I'm looking at in the camera. And if I'm recording this way, I can also see myself right here in the camera. So I just, I just popped it open. Now I'm putting the battery in. I hope I'm putting this in the right way. How do you know? Okay, this is in. And then right here, the memory card goes in. You guys can also see the speaker up here. And this is where the dead kitten will go. So here on the sides, this is where a microphone would go. This is where the charger would go. Or you could either plug it into one of the charging cubes. Or you could plug it into your laptop. You could sync things that way. And this is an HDMI. So everything that's on here can go wherever you would like it to go your laptop computer whatever the shoe cap i have it pressed out a little bit just because it was hard to take out with my nails so you pull that out all the way then you take the windscreen you put it sideways and just light it in and it'll cover over top of the speaker isn't that so cute it's super cute and girly looking but also it's functional which is what I liked and obviously this part is optional you will use this in a high traffic area you wouldn't use this just every day just to vlog this is optional the size of the camera look at it it's literally pocket size you guys know I love mini bags love 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 mini bags everything is a mini bag everything's a mini bag for me it's very convenient it's very small and compact and easy for me to just carry around no problem i'm not gonna have to carry on some bulky camera case or anything it's just easy for on the go i'm so excited about that i'll be bringing this absolutely everywhere with me because of the size now let's turn it on so i just turned the camera on now i have to put in that i want it in english just enter area date and time oh it's actually my location is pretty accurate but um 
as for date and time, it is July 31st, 2021. And it is, it is 3.11 p.m. I hope it doesn't change. The time doesn't change before I'm done putting it in. Um, it says a.m. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. Image edge. Okay, so I need to connect it to my phone. Preparing image database file. Ah, the camera is on. It's so clear. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me sit. Like I got some sense. Okay. So it's recording in portrait mode. Um, oh my gosh. It's super clear. In portrait mode. Um, oh my gosh. It's super clear. So I can already see that what's right here is very focused. Um, yes, yeah, so you guys can see my desk, you guys can see my papers, all that stuff. It's literally focusing on me behind the camera and then what's on my phone is blurred. I love that. Obviously, it needs to be charged. I'm going to stop I can already recording. see that what's right here is very focused. Um, yes, yeah, so you guys can see my desk, you guys can see my papers, all that stuff. It's literally focusing on me behind the camera and then what's on my phone is blurred blurred i love that obviously it needs to be charged i'm going to stop recording so i can put focus select focus point on and off um there's a backlight feature um wow now i can play back what i just recorded i keep forgetting it's not touch screen Okay. No need to watch that. Protect. Okay, so I can do playbacks. Playbacks. Right there. Setup. Hold on. Okay, menu. Wi Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, device name. Let me give it a device name, not ZV1. I wanted to say, I'll do that later. I'll probably just put it as Nini or something like that. Or Nia G, cancel. Audio signals and, uh, okay, still getting, taking some getting used to, but it's generally easy to use and file format, JPEG quality, JPEG image size, aspect ratio. I know there are some other features. Okay, now with this button right here, FN, you can send to smartphone this image all with this date or multiple images. I only have one, okay. All I need is the QR code. So I'm gonna set that up and then I'll be right back. All right, so I transferred the image over. It was super easy. And honestly, unfortunately, not until I was basically done um, did I get the bright idea to just screen record the process. But I downloaded the app. Imaging Edge Mobile is a free app. Um, all I had to do was scan the QR code. No, I created an account. They asked me, what did I use? Um, my camera for was it a hobby was it like a business was it a side business um is my um work being critiqued or is it just for fun basically do you have a youtube channel um i put that it was a like side hobby um that's what i use this video for what i use the camera for if i what kind of videos i make so i put fashion slash beauty and vlogging because those are the kind of videos that i do so usually when you put in information like that they kind of they kind of send you information that you would like or that would be helpful or useful to use for the type of videos that you create based off of the information that you've given. But it was so easy. After that I set after I set all that up, I took a quick little picture 
and well that's not the picture i took i took this cute little picture and i sent it over um bluetooth so technically i really didn't need um this adapter but it's still helpful to have just in case because you never know but yeah so i used it twice so far i'm absolutely in love with it i'm gonna go out tomorrow and i'm actually gonna vlog tomorrow but i'm gonna include an image of what i shoot tomorrow sun is starting to set just a bit the island looks so beautiful literally so beautiful look at the mountains Pause couples walking by looking kind of cute okay this is very plain say hi mom You could see the moon from right above us, not too long ago. But it's all gone. Alright, we're gonna leave now. And we're having itchy bottom for dinner. A few of the quality attributes that attracted me to the ZV-1 camera is that it prioritizes videos over pictures. I believe that my iPhone is 100% capable of taking pictures, obviously of recording because I've been using it to record for over two years and I've gotten a lot of comments about my editing, my video camera, on my videos, although I use an iPhone. So I am, like I believe my iPhone is capable of taking pictures, so this is more for being able to do videos because obviously a camera that specializes in taking videos is going to do better videos than a phone will. Wait, I don't have to use my phone for everything. My phone screen time is absolutely outrageous. I never have any storage. My phone overheats everything. My phone is brand new. I actually will be taking it to Apple this week. Um, also, the dead kitten that reduces the wind noise. I mentioned how you can hear so much background noise like currently people are outside playing sometimes the people in my neighborhood are blasting music and it can be really distracting and it can also deter me from wanting to record videos um of anyone else in my house is doing anything around people shouldn't have to stop what they're doing just for me to make a video so being that i have that sound stabilization be very helpful especially when i'm outside vlogging especially when i'm at the beach um, I did a travel vlog um, about two months ago and the sound of the waves and the ocean, the video, everything was crazy and people were like, we can't hear you. And I apologize for that. Stabilization feature for videos. Um, in order to focus on an iPhone, as you guys know, you have to tap the screen. Um, it does that automatically without me even having to say anything. Um, I could see how it could possibly become problematic, maybe if I'm showing myself and something else at the same time. Maybe, I don't know yet. I haven't seen any um, mention of that in videos, but that's so helpful because that way, like this video is supposed to be about me, but you can see my bags you can see the background and it's not about the background it's about me also the camera has a skin smoothing feature um i already wear makeup in videos sometimes i do sometimes i don't sometimes when i'm vlogging depending on the kind of vlog i may not want to do a video say if i have a blemish or anything i don't want that to be seen but that will just enhance camera quality times 10 because sometimes seeing the flaws in people's faces or anything else it can be super distracting what the video is actually meant to be about so i love that so that's all for today's video i will update you guys with um with a comparison of recording with an iphone 12 pro max that's the phone that i have versus recording with this camera i absolutely love it so far i will include footage that i shoot when i finally use it tomorrow um, if you guys have any other questions, hopefully I can answer them. I am no tech guru, camera specialist, any of that. But I wanted to share with you guys what I got and my thoughts on the camera and why I got it. I am very much satisfied with the purchase. With this purchase, the camera was about, I want to say $760 plus tax. I believe it all came up to about $825. Either way, everything will be linked down below. All the accessories, the camera, all that you can purchase using my links. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.